I mean, I know there was a home invasion where he had to jump out of, you know, people kicked in the doors and... That was to get back like some masters or something. Uh, like no, I really think they were trying to kill him. Oh, okay. straight up. I mean, okay. he had to jump out a second floor window. He came in, pulled guns on us at Priority, Cedric did. He rolled mm -hmm. down 12 deep and mm -hmm. pulled guns on the receptionist mm -hmm. and okay. cornered me in my office. And he swings my door open, you know, about to start yelling at everyone. He just froze. And uh -huh. Everyone just looked at him. Someone offered him a hit of the blood, <laughs> pointed the laser at him. Yeah. <laughs> and he just said, have fun, guys. So you got Black Market when Psychoactive came out? I, the first album I released was Season. Oh, Season. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I signed Season okay. and, and then took Black Market from there. Okay. What, so what was that like? What was that bringing in Cedric I mean, Singleton and, and Black a... Market and working <clears throat> with Brother Lynch? I mean, Lynch and I got a lot of history. Okay. And anyone who knows him knows he's a different kind of dude. Oh, he's absolutely. He's not what you expect. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. he's really kind of a homebody. Yeah, and, yeah. And, recluse. And very much so. Mm -hmm. Um, and Cedric was, you know, the college grad mm -hmm. playing the gangster. Oh, you know, and that gets dangerous when mm -hmm. you don't know the rules and you mm -hmm. start doing stuff that, you know, mm -hmm. you, you can't stop once you start it. Mm. So there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of uh, crazy shit that went down over that deal. Anything that you can speak of? I mean, you should interview Lynch. I know he's got uh -huh. season two coming up. Yeah. But I mean, I know there was a home invasion where he mm -hmm. had to jump out of, you know, people mm -hmm. kicked in the doors and. That was to get back like some masters or something. Or some uh, no, or I really think they were trying to kill him. <laughs> oh, okay. Straight up. I okay. mean, he had to jump out a second floor window and mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. escaped. Uh, his family was still in the house. He got away. Oh, wow. But there was a lot, FBI got involved. There was a lot of drama. Oh, wow. And so, this is all behind just the black market, him not wanting to, to continue. With I, I can't speak on what, caused that okay but i and then i had he came in pulled guns on us at priority cedric did he rolled mm -hmm. down 12 deep and mm -hmm. pulled guns on the receptionist and <clears throat> okay cornered me in my office and wow well excuse me we have to <laughs> shout out to yuck mouth allegedly yep. Yep. <laughs> allegedly yep. hey here, here's the thing i was never close with Seb, but Seb was always really good to to the people i knew he was always good to, like he took care of people and i think even x has said shouted mm -hmm. him out like he there's definitely people he took care of. He was always mm. kind to me in passing, mm. but he, I don't he know. He put on a nice uh, facade. I don't know, know Sid uh, personally. I mean, we we've chopped chopped it up for some time. You know, he seems to be good. I don't know him personally though. Never yeah. done any business. I mean, but. he was very pleasant until mm -hmm. he wasn't. You know? Okay, okay. And honestly, what happened was he mm -hmm. he um, there was a lot of money coming in from Lynch, mm -hmm. and he was buying a lot of stuff for himself mm. and then telling all the artists and staff he couldn't pay them mm -hmm. couldn't pay royalties couldn't pay staff um because priority wasn't paying them mm. which ended up falling on my shoulders why wasn't priority we, we were oh you were yeah okay that's what i'm saying oh i see okay. yeah so you. you know he was he was riding the big body bends and, uh, and the new house and so lynch's had, complaints were valid lynch and everybody else on the okay. label at the time oh wow but he you know he diverted all that and pointed it towards me mm. and so last time i saw cedric i think mm -hmm. there were i don't know 10 guns mm -hmm. drawn in the cnn building oh wow so i don't so want to go too far y'all had y'all but... had drama up there oh it's yeah like cadillac it records. was crazy <laughs> Said cadillac it was crazy yeah it was crazy like, yeah. yeah, yeah, like yeah, so surreal to look back what, at. what was it like when no limit was up there when you had hot boy Oh my you God! All them. You had Pokey and all that big man, beef, all of them family back then, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they took the office over, right? Like when they twenty <laughs> deep showed up, right? Like Brian would go hide in his office, and I remember one time we were in my office, and there was I don't know ten of us. Everyone uh -huh. was smoking a blunt, uh -huh. and and the way the air recycled through the building, <laughs> it was dumping down in Brian's office. Uh -huh. So he came storming down into my and I, there was there was guns out and lasers yeah. in the smoke and all this shit and yeah. he swings my door open you know about to start yelling at everyone and he just froze and uh -huh. everyone just looked at him someone offered him a hit of the blood <laughs> pointed the laser at him yeah. and he just said have fun guys <laughs> closed the door went back to his office I mean they took the place over yeah. I mean yeah. he had a pool table in there they gave him a corner office and... uh -huh. it's their office now yeah for real <laughs> the yeah. no one would tell no one would tell him what he couldn't do right that's right that's you right know? and he was always cool like yeah. it was always fun it was love everyone was respectful mm -hmm. it just brought like a whole nother flavor to the, let, to the let me ask you um and i always heard this is rumor um was it true that 
art that priority as to your point of you saying that they didn't really break any artists it was all label distributed mm -hmm. is it true that they would pay some of the labels for some of their artists to put their artists on those labels for instance like i heard that that um who was it um damn i'm trying to think of one of the no limit artists it wasn't young you're bleed yep. oh you already yeah. know where i was going yeah. with it okay yeah. you got it okay yeah so bleed was signed to sea lokes Mm -hmm. uh label i forgot what it was called he had um concentration camp yep yep and mm -hmm. um and p felt like um like loke was his own man mm -hmm. he didn't need to be under i'm sure there was more to it mm -hmm. but what was being told to me mm -hmm. was that like loke, loke stands on his own mm -hmm. he doesn't need me mm -hmm. but he got this artist bleed mm -hmm. and he's incredible so mm -hmm. instead of instead of um me signing him mm -hmm. let's sign him to priority but put the tank on it. Mm -hmm. So P got a check right. from Priority. He ends up, Bleed ends up signing the Priority and c -Loke ends up with the joint venture with Priority. Got you. So yeah, to the No Limit fan, it looked mm -hmm. like a No Limit exactly. release. Exactly, exactly. But the back end books were all different. Yeah, is that something that Priority practiced with? No, artists? that was the only time we did that, that, that okay. I'm aware of. Okay. Yeah, and it was and it was crafted by P. Oh, wow. Out of respect to uh -huh. Loke. Like oh, it was wow. on some man shit from the, my perspective. Wow, okay. Like it, nothing was weird or, uh -huh. you know, it was really more respectful. How did, how did Priority adjust and keep up with P's business model? Because it was so, uh, not the norm it they was couldn't. so yeah because they no couldn't. one no other distributed label was doing shit every tuesday like no that. i know i remember Evolving fighting with we had this we had this um british cfo that started at the company mm -hmm. and um and we we're putting out back-to-back -back records and i think it was silk's record that was coming up mm -hmm. and they wanted to press like a hundred thousand mm -hmm. and i was i was i was wild back mm -hmm. in my in my 20s yeah, yeah. You know, I was on a mission and it wasn't calculated uh -huh. it was just like keep up yeah survive and keep up and I remember going up there and getting in this 60 year old British CFO, you mm -hmm. know, I'm like 24, 25. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I'm saying, well, what are you thinking at a hundred thousand? He's mm -hmm. like, what are you thinking at 400,000? Mm -hmm. I'm like, you don't know shit. Like mm -hmm. how long you been here a week? Like, I don't care where you came from or what you did, but we need to ship 400,000 right. on this. Fuck that 500,000. Yeah. And he was like, you're out of your mind. And I'm yeah. like, all right, so check it out. You're going to do the 500,000 and either, and I'm wrong, I'm fired next week. But if you fuck <laughs> around and do that 100,000 that's right. and it should have been five, it's yeah. your ass next your week. Ass, yeah. Then I stormed out of there. He did the 500 and we sold through it in like four days. Wow. So little by little, it just like got everyone in the company to realize mm -hmm. like, yo, mm -hmm. just let them do what they're doing. Don't stop mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. Stay out of their way and. Mm -hmm. you know let let the the momentum continue so it's like you had a hot hand for a cool little minute were there any labels that didn't do well that you that you had your hands on that you was like uh, oh i missed with that one mm, like that i made a miss yeah they just didn't pop sometimes I mean, shit just don't uh, there pop was some dance there was some edm stuff mm -hmm. that was smaller i would some mm -hmm. like a friend of mine's label mm -hmm. um out of out of miami called mm -hmm. neurodisc mm -hmm. and but they were consistent sellers mm -hmm. and respect respected mm -hmm. in their region mm -hmm. but they didn't pop nationally mm -hmm. you know so there were definitely some labels that did well mm -hmm. um and were respected but didn't blow up like okay you know like raucous did or yeah. even black market i mean that was a pretty big run for them too yeah, it was for it independent was. how 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 was it working with dane and jay with rockefeller you know i wasn't i wasn't involved but what i what i saw mm -hmm. was um us losing jay-z and dame once again over ego because mm. dame was in there doing what dame does that's right and talking shit and, mm -hmm. you know creating a fuss mm -hmm. and and um and he was under brian turner and brian so i was mark's number two mm -hmm. and brian had a guy named andrew shack andrew shack I yeah, remember who was his andrew. number two yep. and andrew would deal with dame and those mm -hmm. two mm. were were oil and water it didn't mm -hmm. work out so i remember uh my staff and I trying to explain like, yo, you don't want to lose this cat right mm -hmm. here. And I fuck him. They're a headache. They're a pain in the mm -hmm. ass. It's just, <laughs> you know, it was yeah. all, it was just <clears throat> unnecessary bullshit. Right, right. And I don't know the details, but yeah. I know that basically we were fine letting him go. Mm -hmm. And, and when I say we, I mean, Brian's side. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. one of the big distribution plays they had, you right. know, came and went after reasonable doubt. So, okay. Okay. Um, but think of how different. <gasps> history would have been mm -hmm. if if that would have been family oh, that's right 
right? right. And then around and then around the same time is when they passed on M's mm. uh, demo. Really? I mean, a little so a little Priority while later, did. Priority had okay. yeah. Andrew Shag. I'm gonna have to say it. Andrew Shag had M's uh-huh. demo. <laughs> called me in, and I'm like, yo that one uh-huh. and um now nah, white white rappers don't sell i'm mm-hmm. like that one yeah and didn't happen wow. and, but again when you think of history yeah. had jay stayed and priority signed m it would have been like the yeah. whole industry would be different it would have been yeah way nothing different. would be the same way different yeah so. so at what point did you feel like you needed to transition out of priority did you leave or did you get fired no um good question <laughs> Comes around, comes around, comes on the way. There's nothing you could do now. You gotta pay.